Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So hello and uh, welcome to this part of the chapter. We're going to be doing some modeling and the goal is to create these uh, Ray-Ban uh, Wayfair sunglasses. So uh, let's see how we can do that. This is how they look. If we go up, say file, new, we've got a new blank page. Um, so, whenever you're modeling something, you always want some kind of reference. And in my case, I've got these uh, pictures. This from the side. This picture from the front, and this picture from the top. And these are just going to help me when I'm going to model this. So, if I were to add a cube in here, like this. If I press the middle mouse button, I click up here, I can go into these different views. So you can see I've got the front view, top, and the right view. Uh, and these pictures, they actually fit with each of these views. So I'll take this and drag it onto the front view, take this, drag it onto the right view, and this, drag it onto the top view. And uh, now we just want to kind of calibrate these four pictures. So what I'm doing is that I'm taking this cube and then I'm dragging it out in the this direction until it f matches uh, the width right here. And uh, now I want to go into this uh, viewport, go up to options, configure, and then I want to change the scale right here until it matches. Um, if I move the cube over here, if I move this cube forwards, I'm going to be able to see that the, cu uh, the sunglasses are a bit rotated. And I found out that 1.35 degrees will uh, make it straight. So I will now uh, change the size over here until they match. That way I know that these two pictures are the same size. I can then uh, go out here and scale this cube out until it exactly matches uh, these sunglasses. This may have to be different degree. A little bit less. 0 0.3 for some reason. I think the sunglasses are a little bit uh, skewed. I don't think they are completely straight. Um, so this matches all right. Let's go into the side viewport and start uh, configuring that picture because this one is way too large. Uh, maybe move it around a little bit. I'll try and go into the front viewport and uh, match the height. There we go. Then I'll see if it matches in here. And no, it definitely doesn't. So I may actually have gotten a uh, a wrong picture right here, or I don't know. But for some reason, the height is not the same. But that doesn't matter. It's going to be all right. Um, and the most important part is that we have got these pictures calibrated somewhat closely. So what I want to start off with is uh, creating the front right here. So I will start off with a plane, move it over here, rotate 90 degrees by holding shift. And uh, then I will make the segments one by one like this. Press C and uh, to make it editable and then I'm going to start moving this around. Scale it in. So if you go into our other viewport you'll see that this is what we've got. We've just got a plane and it's completely flat. If we select our plane, go into edge mode, we're now going to start moving these edges around uh, also going into point mode, press E, then you can just click and drag on these points. But in edge mode, 
we want to start control dragging these edges out and basically this way we want to actually just create the whole shape so in this area I want to do like this so put one point up here move this other point down here and uh, you see this area it's going it's going around but it's also going out to the side so there are a few ways that you could go about modeling this but because of this edge right here I think that the most correct way of doing it would be going down right here like this and then going out like this to get this shape that's just how I think it should be modeled but you could also do it the other way why you would go like this this may actually be even more correct and take this and extrude it this way like this no matter wh which way you choose it's going to give pretty uh, equal results so right now I'm just moving around with these points and you'll know you'll be noticing that in the beginning you're going to be moving around a lot with the points because you don't have the uh, because you don't have the experience to know exactly where to put the points you may also be very careful about making it perfect so just continuing to go around right here extruding and placing the first point and then I'm going into point mode and placing the second point like this So now I want to join these, uh, actually let's just do like this and now join these two, uh, two edges. So, you know, we have the bridge tool. I'm just going to right click, choose bridge, or I'm going to press while I'm not moving with the mouse, I can press M and then B. So you can see. M brings up this uh, menu and if you press B you can see it says bridge and B you've got the bridge tool click and drag and then I'll select these two edges control drag press T hold shift and scale until it's at 0% and then I will go to the uh, the position of this uh, where I've set it to world I'll set this to zero and that way it's going to be moved in the center I'm going to take these uh, points and move them in place Now we've actually got the front of these uh, glasses uh, kind of done. If we were to go into our top view, you'll see that uh, all our points, they are right here. And uh, that's kind of understandable because they are all on, all on one plane. Um, I want to now select all the points, so I'll press zero to get my rectangle selection tool and I will just click and drag I'll move and as you can see I made this mistake uh, uh, intentionally 
I've only selected some of the points. And if I go in here, you can see I've actually only selected the top points. And uh, that is because, if you go back up here, press zero, you can see it has been set to only select visible elements. If you disable this and try again, you're able to select all the points. So I'll take all the points, move them up in the front like this, and then I'll basically start uh, deselecting some of the points, moving a bit, move a bit, and uh, this way I'm basically, uh, sorry for that, someone just called me on Skype, but this way I'm basically trying to define a curve. Let me actually close. This way I'm just defining the curve of these sunglasses. And uh, I think this should do. If I go back to uh, this view, then we will see that our sunglasses have like got uh, a nice curve to them. And it's going to be quite all right. Um, since I've only created one side, I can add a symmetry modifier and then add the plane beneath, and we're going to get both sides. I want to go into the plane, uh, and just disable this symmetry, select everything, right click, extrude, and make sure to uh, enable this create caps. Then I'll basically just extrude backwards until it's got the correct thickness like that. Then I want to uh, go back to this, select everything, and now you can see they're all blue instead of uh, yellow. That's because they are flipped, so I'll right click, choose reverse normals. I'll take these two guys, scale them into zero, center them to zero, and delete them. Enable symmetry once again, and here we've got our sunglasses. So according to the top picture right here, I can see that this edge needs to be pushed in like this. So uh, just move these around a little bit until it's going to match pretty nicely. And I think this will do. I'm not going to uh, match it exactly to the reference because this is only a reference. It's a very bad picture to do this from. Um, so I will now add our hibernaps, hold alt, click, and it's going to be added below. And we have now got our smooth sunglasses. But as we all know, Ray-Bans aren't this smooth, so I'll add the loops. Go in here and click, click, to add our outer uh, sharpening, or whatever we can call it. And then I'll press Q again to disable the hibernaps, like this. So, like this, I'm able to disable hibernaps, and then I'll just click, click in here, and we've got sharpening in there as well. If we want to, we can also add a loop right here, and even a loop right there, or even better, a loop right there. What is going on right here? Oh, I added the loops the wrong way, that's because um, you, you want to add them at the edge out here and not just in the middle because as you can see here it's only like creating half the cut, it's ending right there so the cuts I want to do has to start here and here and now they're going to sharpen up this like I want it to and if you render this you see they look like Ray-Ban sunglasses.